G'day everyone, welcome to Yen Ben and Murray Bidja. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make some cordage or some string uh, with the stringy bark tree. I'm going to show you how to get this inner layer bark out. That's the best bark to use um, to make the string. So let's get into it. As you can see, you need the yellow and the white part. It's the best part of it. The red part, too brittle. It's the outer layer. So as you can tell, I've only taken a small section out of the tree. By doing that, you're not harming the tree. It's still covered. You only take a third. Uh, that's what our people knew anyway. When they were doing this stuff, they knew how to maintain the land and, and look after the trees. All right, in this part, we're gonna pound on the fibers. Just do this however you want. This will just loosen it up. Also break some rocks in the process. All right, so loosen it up a bit more. See all the fibers? All right, we're gonna break it all up. And you see the beautiful yellow and orange color from it? What I've done in the past is with other fibers, I've used this to um, dye, dye other materials because it's so, so beautiful and rich in color. Some of this stuff is a bit rubbish. So individually pull it apart. I'm going, gonna make some small string today, or cordage. So I'm gonna make the fibers fine, probably that thick. Don't worry if you don't get it correct the first time. You can always add more fibers to make it thicker. Okay, just like this. Pretty easy stuff. Get rid of that. It's the outer layer. We don't want that. There's a million different ways on how to make this stuff. It's just knowing the right plants to use. Trial and error. You probably can't see that on camera, but you can probably see the stickiness from the sap and plant. Uh, 
outer layer. Remove. Yeah, this is all a bit too hard. So I should have pounded a lot longer. All right, so I've got a piece here. So you want to get the middle part of it, which is roughly there. You're going to twist in two different directions, one towards you and one towards the other way, where it will make that little knot. All right, so then you get it. Hope you can see that. Sorry about the hands. Knot one across this one and one straight down, and you hold it there. You can twist the one at the top away from your body, fold it down over towards you. Twist away from your body, back down over towards you. Twist. Now, my ancestors were so skilled they could just roll it on their legs. I'm sure you guys have got skills like that. I don't. Excuse the if you can't tell what I'm doing. But twist away, uh, twist away from your body, fold back down over you. Okay. See that? That's the start of the string. Let's keep it going. And you can see all that beautiful sap getting on your fingers. It actually helps bind the string together. Come on, fingers work. City of Fair was doing this. It's so easy. Once you get the hang of it, took me a while. Hope the camera can show that properly. Took me a while to get it, but once I did, haven't looked back. It's been so helpful, so handy to do. Next I'm going to show you is when you run out of string, or run out of um, the bark, what do we do next to keep it going? So we're getting pretty close to running out. Let's grab another piece. That's another piece just there. So what you're going to do is join it across. I'm going to make it longer. And you just twist it in. Twist it in. 
same same process twist away from your body fold it down twist down over to you You can tell I've added some more because it's thicker and fatter. But once you get skilled, it won't be so obvious. It's going to break that big part off. Keep going. Come on, fingers. That seemed to want to work for me today. So it's running out. What I'm going to do is add some more on that side now. Let's grab another piece. That one looks like a good size, so I'm gonna bring it up to about there. Twist it in, fold down, twist it in, fold down, twist, twist, fold down, twist. Away from your body, back down over you. All right, let's try and make this easy to see. Twist it, twist it, twist it, and bring it down over you. Keys, key to success is continue to try. Don't give up. Give up, you're never gonna learn. It's gonna be hard at, at first. And it's easy to say, I can't do it. Then actually keep going. So just push through it guys, you got it. Took me a while to get it. But once I did, like I said, haven't looked back. There you go. So I know it's all um, lots of fibers everywhere. You just get a lighter or some fire. Just light it and get rid of all of that. Come up looking nice. All right, so here we've come to the end of our string. It's not that big, but it will do for today. So we're at the end. We've got this too. We're just gonna tie it over into a knot and that's how we're going to finish it off try and pull through right. pull 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 it's not going to break it's pretty tough all right so we're going to use a lighter too to burn all the flaky parts off the fibrous parts because it's all bound together it's not going to it's just going to take off the fibrous parts that are hanging away oh, I can't even use this lighter how terrible until I don't smoke Keep going. Don't be afraid. Is this part? Rip it off. Burn it. Burn it. I'm not really a pyromedic. Just um starting to rain as you can tell there you go all the fibers have been burnt off you can do it better than that if you like but you can make that into a bracelet or whatever see looks nice looks like I'm a pack a day smoker as well but that's from the resin um, and that's it that's how you make string thanks very much for watching if you like what you see please hit the like and subscribe button guys see you next time stay deadly